how you doing? I'm Hassan and I'm an American chauffeur. Now, what I want to do today is talk about practice. They say practice makes perfect, right? A perfect practice, you know, you practice things in a, in a perfect way. Well, of course it's going to be perfect. So you keep pushing to do things in the right way. Sometimes I don't, yeah, hey, look, look, look. I'm going to tell you this right now. Huh? I'm not perfect. I know that it just sounds so weird to say that because we're supposed to know. But there are some times I say and do things that I might regret, especially um, since I know where I came from, since I've been pushing to be better, right? But remember, the people who get in and out your car, they really don't know you like that. These new people, these strangers, when you're doing ride share and even as a chauffeur, over time you get to know your clients. You know, and, you know, we, sometimes, you know, we get very, you know, we get to know each other very well, or the ins and outs or whatever of each other. We talk and everything in the car, but so much for that as far as uh, come, when it comes to you doing ride share. Because the people who get in and out your car can feel and see that you're doing better or whatever. They get jealous and envious because most of them is unhappy. Oh, I, 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 look. Okay, so you're going to have people get in your car and they feel your energy that you're trying, that you're pushing, and maybe that you feel good about putting forth the effort to be the best you, you can be. They're going to come and try to tweak you, but remember that person going to be gone, but sometimes a person can tweak me enough, I'll say some stuff I regret. I wish I hadn't have said it. Most people who get deeper with it would be relatives, but you don't expect that to go nowhere. You relatives, you're, you're spat, and then you'll work it out, right? But when it comes to these strangers getting in and out your car, so how, why would I make this video that's talking about practice? You know when I come to you, I do the best I can to try to bring you a different perspective, especially for those who are doing it, and maybe they feel somewhat stuck, you know, but they're making it through. They see the money going down, but they know they're kind of, it's just something about it. They just have hope, huh, that it'll get better maybe. Then maybe the strikes will work and we'll start getting more money but then there's that other thing too that you just so hooked on it. Because the good days that you do have, as well as those that are adventurously bad, this is the practice. This is the practice. Hmm? This is the beauty of doing this thing Call rideshare. I came through rideshare. I know in other industries there's just as much beauty in that if the person really enjoys what they do. You could be a welder and really enjoy that you're being creative, that you're creating something that could be useful to mankind. Okay? But as a rideshare driver, you definitely, if you are uh, uh, even a chauffeur, but we just don't have to deal with that ugly thing. We don't even have to work that many hours to make the money that we need to make as a chauffeur. You know, if you're me, I'm building a business out of, man, I'm still, man, please. I push it because I enjoy pushing it. And there are times that maybe I might do 16 or 18. I get a little rough around the edges a little bit. And I cut the app on because I'm coming home from somewhere. So I kept cut the app on. and I pick up the person that might tweak me. 
might let me know, or they let me know that they don't appreciate me. They don't give a damn where I came from. They don't give a damn because they don't know that anyway. But what happens is they see, hey, man, you look good. Looks like you're doing good and everything. You know, I'm going to tweak him because I don't think that he should have that station he got because, look, you're doing, you, look, I'm doing an Uber X ride. I just dropped off a client. I'm looking. I am that I am. I, man, please. And they decide they're going to tweak you. Don't even know you and jealous of you like hell. And then you say something. Then for the next week, you wonder if you're going to get kicked off the platform. <laughs> Because I've done it, like I said, I've been hands on protecting myself with these passengers. I've said all kinds of stuff. Probably should have been kicked off the platform. Like I told y'all, had no five star rating. The practice for me is being, being a better human being for me. So you can imagine the adventures that I have doing this, doing ride share. Now I'm a chauffeur and the adventure continues is on a higher level though. So practice, don't be afraid. Look. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I do. And it's gonna sound ugly, but you get as offended as you like cause I ain't giving a damn cause I'm the one practicing for me just like you gotta practice for you. Somebody gets in that car with some foolishness. First thing I do is wonder, what did I do? What, did I do something to cause this? You know, I kind of think, you know, like that. So somebody put a gun in my face or something, which a bit most that I've had, I hadn't had that happen. I pray I don't. Um, you know, the worst I've had happen is somebody gets shot and get in the car. That's the closest I've come to any gun violence, right? And um, I don't know if he was a perpetrator, you know, around there shooting and call him an Uber so he can get away or something like that. But end up, whoever he was, he ended up getting shot and then getting him a car. So um, If somebody was to stick a gun in my face, of course it's gonna be flash, 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 right? I'm gonna be thinking what I, after I get out of the car and let them do whatever they're gonna do uh, and keep my life safe and protected, I'll be wondering, well, damn, did I pick up in the wrong place? Where's this neighborhood? Is this, should I not been over there? Should I have been paying more attention to the ratings? You know, but that's just me. Okay, if you're not that way, you know I mean, you know, I just don't believe in being no victim. And there are people who will try to twist your thinking to make you think that you hate yourself and make you a victim. There are people out there that kind of sickness is out there. Practice, practice, practice. And you can't help but practicing because you're driving 12 hours a day. Think about what it is you're doing. Think about the beauty that you bring in. Huh? to this thing called ride share because you the one make Uber and Lyft look good and a doggone it. So every day when you get out there, you actually practice. Now you decide what it is that you practice. If you practicing just wearing out a, 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 a set of tires, huh? Are you practicing that I'm just going to burn up a bunch of gasoline? today, or you could be practicing, I'm going to sit out here and wait at the airport and uh, see if I get a good ride come to me. Or some of you could be practicing that. What are you practicing? I'm doing the best I can because I'm still, you know, for me, doing these videos that take work and I got to practice. This is just practice for me. And hopefully the more I do them, the better I'll get. Okay? The beauty of it is for me is that I'm hoping that there's someone Huh? Out there, maybe a few more, I hope. You know, there's millions of drivers out there, and I'm not, I know I'm not the only one who this experience has had something to do with the enrichment of my life. 
You get as offended as you like. You think you're only doing this for money, then money is all you're going to get or don't get. You know what I mean? You might, well, must ain't getting it. You dissatisfied. There are some of you out there who you making it work. You've built it into a business. And it's been a gift that keeps giving. Why? Because you've learned yourself because of doing this. And don't you know, that's worth millions. I want you to be careful now and I want you to relax because I know it's been rough on you. You've come a long way, right? For a year, for over a year you've been doing this thing. You've had passengers do all sorts of stuff throw all sorts of things at you, the drunk, Calling me out your name. The man's inhumanity, the man's the essence of it. You wonder how that ugly stuff in history, and it was like the population was down with that mess. You wonder how that happens, huh? And you're especially fortunate if you've been driving since 2019 and you've made it this far. You're especially fortunate because you made it through a wonderfully historic time in human history, historic for you because you survived and you made it and you're still going on now. You know, I don't want, you know, look, okay. Okay, look. Practice being the best you can be doing this thing that you're doing right now I'm a chauffeur, I came through ride share, I still practice the basics right here. I still practice, I just made like a formula for me because it's been, it's been working, health, everything. All of it's been working. And I'm still trying to build a better relationship with myself and the world around me. So look here, until, until the next video, I want you to drive safe and drive with confidence.